So this is my friend's 73 Stingray and he had a small leak from the thermostat housing. So he went ahead and ordered a new one and a new thermostat, a new gasket and a new upper hose. So this is a very simple DIY type of project and you want to get started by removing the upper hose. You loosen the clamps and um, and then you get the um, the water neck out of there. Uh, there's no particular order, but uh, anyway, this is how I did it this time. The engine was still a little warm, and uh, it made a mess of things, but not too bad. So the, the if your engine is totally cool, you probably won't even have this issue with um, water all over the floor. But uh, again, this engine was a bit warm, so no biggie. With these older cars, sometimes it's very kind of tricky to remove some of these components because you always risk snapping one of these bolts. Fortunately, in this case, that did not happen, but they were tight. I used, as you probably noticed there, a breaker bar at first, and then I I went to uh, ahead and, uh, and got the, the ratchet out, but um, it's always nerve-wracking because that can be a nightmare, really. So um, that's the, the original housing. And uh, again, you'll see here when we remove the, um, the upper hose, there's gonna be some more coolant um, coming out of the, um, of the neck there of the radiator. Again, it's just, it just makes a mess of things, but um, we dealt with it. Um, and that's why I like to keep these old towels there kind of to absorb some if not most of the uh, of the coolant that is going to gush out of there. There's always pressure and fluid and stuff so mm -hmm. I just have to clean the floor again. No big deal. Alrighty so here I have the, the original housing and obviously someone used some silicone or something like that to uh, to seal this. And we have the new one next to it. It's a lot better. And we have the new gasket. This one is actually aluminum and it's got some rubber seals all around it. So I think that's gonna be a, a good replacement. And I also told Bob to get new clamps. You wanna get the best clamps available. I think the ideal smart seal are a good investment and they're not that expensive. So get, get the good stuff. By the way, the, uh, the water neck housing is part, and it says here GM 3877660. And that's, um, I think what's, what came with the, with the car. We're also going to clean these bolts because they're really looking uh, pretty bad. Okay, we're gonna remove the thermostat next. I can't read this one, but uh, let's see if we can make out the numbers here. Okay, so this one actually had a 195 degree thermostat. So I think it's, um, I don't know if this is the original or not, but uh, probably not, but we're gonna replace it anyway. And uh, we're gonna use, in this case, a 160. And this is the area of the intake manifold where the water neck and the gasket uh, sits and uh, threaded holes are also very clean. So everything is ready to be installed. Next, drop the thermostat into place as shown, followed by the gasket. 
and the housing. Torquing the water neck bolts is very important and most shop manuals will have that information. Here I'm using the Haynes book. You can see here under torque specs 68 through 77 for the housing is going to be 20 foot pounds. Before you torque the bolts to 20 foot pounds, you want to get them equally snug and then when you feel they're like ready to be torqued, that's when you actually do so. And I always like to do a, as you can see, a double click. A little bit of dish soap and water is the perfect lubricant to get the, the hose installed. And you also want to twist and position the hose so it's not touching any brackets. Uh, next you want to position your new clamps properly and tighten them. After everything is done I like to start up the engine to check for leaks and also I leave the radiator uncapped so I can add coolant as necessary and uh, you do that a couple times because once the thermostat opens, uh, you're going to need a little more coolant. So that's the best way to do it in my opinion. And you want to let the car get up to operating temperature checking for leaks and uh, you'll know when the thermostat opens because you'll feel the, the heat coming through the, the hose so do that several times to make sure everything is, is working properly and that's pretty much it like I said it's a very simple project you can do it in a couple of hours after we were done we uh, we took the car out for a drive and uh, got something to eat and then of course you want to check and as you can see it's dry as a bone so that's that's it I hope you enjoyed the video and um, if you did please give it a like that helps a lot and I will see you next time thanks for watching take care Bye.